couple of parcels just rocked up. This one is my new fish smoker. Yeah, I found um, a mall down south catching all those herring and whatever. And um, like a little fish smoker would be the go, but not one of those sort of big box ones. So I went for a bit of a look around online and whatever and um, found this one on Amazon. I haven't really bought much stuff off Amazon, but um, it was about 60 bucks so I open her up and check it out and hopefully um, yeah get a trevally or something while I'm up here um, and give it a test out with the old smoker yeah looks like you've got this tray put some wood chips on the bottom there tray on top fish on there Just Slide the lid on. Good thing. Yeah, comes with uh, some little smoking chips. Have to buy some more. So yeah. Try and get myself a Trevally or something and chuck it in the smoker in the next um, week or so. Uh, today is get the boat out day. Yeah, we've just been work in the last couple of weeks and um, haven't really had too much uh, opportunity to get the boat out so even though it's fairly uh, windy this morning um, I'm just gonna uh, take the boat out for a run maybe throw a few lures around have a bit of a play uh, I'm gonna go over to Finnegan Island which is like 20 k's away and just maybe putting around the creeks there it's high tide in about 20 minutes so I'll probably miss the, um, the top of the tide, but uh, yeah, I won't get stuck on rocks anyway. Hook the boat up and get some stuff ready. Load some stuff in the tinny, chuck the fuel in, and um, yeah, I'll go for a look anyway. Never know, might be able to jag some dinner. Draw some lures around. It is a lot windier than I thought it would be, so. Um, I'm just gonna have to see what it looks like when uh, I get to the boat ramp. But I think I've timed it completely wrong and I'm gonna have to wait for an iron ore train to cross the train tracks, which is going extremely slow because we're, the boat ramp's right near the um, one of the ore processing shiploading facilities. only just there yeah I got to get me rod sorted bit of amateur move this morning I haven't really got anything um, sorted so I'm just gonna chuck a couple of lures on and just virtually burn a couple of liters of fuel just trawl around here the winds um, coming from the east I think that is that's the east uh, so yeah just gonna try and stick along this bank here and be protected and just trawl up and down this mouth a bit here, see what I can see. Uh, yeah, but obviously not having a sounder or GPS, uh, it's a bit of a bummer, because I just can't see what the bottom's doing and whatever. Uh, it's definitely something I have to invest in soon, I think. But anyway, I'll um, rig up some lures and trawl around. That is a swordfish, holy shit. Wow. I just floated up in here in the shallows uh, and there's a swordfish in there. Unreal. Uh, so I'm just going to try a little frog on just a little weedless uh, hook setup. These are um, Rusty Boys Fishing uh, in, the, in the NT. They make these uh, little fellas and a whole range of um, bits and pieces. So I'll give it a shot. I've always seen that um, Drew M on um, YouTube. He is the white frog flicking sensei, that guy. So uh, I'll see if I can fuck it up in the first cast. Ooh, straight in the bushes.
sure what I got. Totally unprepared for that. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Oh man, I was um, I was literally just killing time because there was uh, three boats at the boat ramp here. So I thought, oh, I'll just go patrol down past this rock bar here and see if I can pick something up. And um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty happy. I uh, was not expecting anything. Anyway, I'll um, sort this guy out and uh, maybe go for another trawl. Sweet. I'll um, cook him up maybe tomorrow. I might as well do another round and um, trawl back past that uh, rock bar. Yeah, that was a gold spotted rock cod. It was just under 50 centimeters. So they're gonna be, uh, those are gonna be 400. If I can pick up another one of them, um, that'll be dinner sorted. Today's winnings. No uh, trophy fish, but um, got a little travel for the uh, smoker and dinner. Yeah, I'll fill these up here and then I can um, get rid of the frames. We actually had our last little bag of fish that we found in the bottom of the freezer uh, like two days ago, so we've got nothing, fish wise anyway. Yeah, the other day we. Um, treated ourselves to the local butcher on our first payday and we got those um, I did those uh, beef ribs on the rotisserie and tonight because both of us don't have to work tomorrow which is good so we're gonna go fishing in the morning and I'm just gonna cook the um, 
uh, porterhouse steaks, they're huge, oh, they're, um, they're like an inch thick. Just gonna get the barbie cranking. And I've got some lug char there, just gonna do them on that. And then put the grill on, and then uh, get them going. What do you call them? Potatoes. Potatoes. How have you done the potatoes? Uh, just jacket potatoes. So a yeah. bit of oil, a bit of salt, alfa oil. Okay. In the yeah. fire. Nice. And how long will they take? <laughs> no. You don't know? Yeah, maybe an hour or so. Ah, okay. Yeah. What sort of potatoes are they? <laughs> White ones. <laughs> <laughs> How are those from porterhouses? Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt on that side. The seasoning. Mm -hmm. Have to lower the old um, grill down. I'll just leave them on that for a minute. Low and slow. <laughs> yeah, that's a big steak. Okay. Mm. Yourself yet. Spuds. Mm. Mm. How long are the spuds on? Hey. How long are the spuds on for? Just over an hour. Oh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. Meat and potato. That's it, just meat and potato. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do the Tim the Tool Man type oh of thing. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> Come on then. Uh, here's, um, here's real man stuck. <laughs> 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 Boom. <laughs> Yeah, we are down at, I think they call Six Mile. Kel's inherited my hat. <laughs> That's a good way to get space for my hair. Yeah, he's got no reef boots. <laughs> no Rocking a hell of an outfit today. And uh, yeah, it's a bait mission today. Uh, we've got the rods just for a flick anyway. And try and get some mullet or whatever. Many, many moons ago when we used to live here, um, if Luke is watching this, he'll remember this uh, rock bar right here. Second day or something, he'd moved up. We went out, um, took him mud crabbing, and we walked over there, just behind me there, and, um, and got a few mud crabs. I'll have a look around and see if I can get something while the tide's low. in whiting. Lovely little bait. Just need the mother load. <laughs> There's heaps there, that was so really quick. Get better Jed. Oh, 
I've got a couple. Oh, treasure. Oh, that. that one that you just grabbed. Oh, yeah, mullet, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that one. <gasps> Good catch. <laughs> Should be a cricketer. Shit. That's where we're after the old. Uh, I think there he He's back in. <laughs> uh, yellow eyed mullet. Um, yeah. I'll freeze most of them. Um, but yeah, when the when I've got the aerator going, I'll be able to stay alive in there for ages, and we use them as liveys. Not these ones, but other ones. <laughs> yeah, I'll sort these out. Anyway. Yeah, I needed some bait for the freezer. I've got nothing really in there, so we've got some squid heads that I want to keep for when I go out and get some mulloway or something. But um, I'm not too sure if it's good mulloway bait. But I'll keep most of these whole and freezing in like packs of five or something. So but yeah, uh Kells rig's set up for a livey, so it's probably a bit shallow though. Yeah. No, we're gonna chuck a livey on Kells one. It's pretty shallow here. But yeah, we only just came down here for some bait, so um we'll Might as well have a crack while we're here. We'll get out there anyway. Safe. And with these little fellas, you just tuck it through the lip. Oh, it's yeah. real loose. Until it gets pulled and then. No, no, the drag's off. See, old bucket of bill. It's just. A million and one uses. Even without making. Bill tongue, it just keeps on producing. Uh, and I've just got a little soft plastic on. I'm just gonna yeek that around. It's got a little spinner on it. There you go, guys. There you go mate, you oh. survived. Off you go. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Oh. Story to tell the kids now. Uh, yeah, it's pretty shallow here, so and very <laughs> sinky. What are you thinking what about? Are you thinking? Call it an Arvo, got some bait, and that was the mission. Uh, tomorrow, we're either going to take the boat out, hopefully, take the boat out, and just have an explore. <laughs> that wasn't my ass. <laughs> A whole hand line. <laughs> Not much line left on there. This is my third hand line I've found here, and we've only been here for all. <laughs> I have four hand lines now. <laughs> Score. Mm. Yeah. That was glass everywhere. Yeah. These people are shit.